yoga is a method of self purification yoga is a method of self purification karma yoga can be seen as a method which helps us purify our our, our reason uh, purify our purity of purpose that often times it makes us question why is it that i'm doing this or why is it i'm not doing this and sometimes if we don't question the purpose question the motive behind our actions uh, we might discover that a lot of the actions that we do are not really done with with the best of intentions with the highest of intention it's our actions that bind us but if we question the motive behind it we purify the purpose of every action both physical and mental that amount of purity then will help us become free similarly jnana yoga the path of knowledge purity of reason even the faculty of reason we think being logical being rational is a great thing well it is great no doubt but simply being logical is not enough because we know that um, in a court of law um, when there are uh, uh, two parties arguing uh, there the same set of evidence and lawyers on both sides will use the same set of evidence use their logic use their ras- rational principles to prove two different things so reasoning is great being rational is wonderful uh, but unless my sense of being logical or rational is purified i may use this power of logic i may use this power of reasoning to do things which are self destructive to do things which will bring me pain which will bring others pain so simply being logical or rational itself doesn't become a great virtue unless its results are are good and finally uh, bhakti yoga is a way to purify our emotions our emotions that we have the feelings that we have are a very powerful forces within us now even these need to be purified because the emotions are such that they can motivate me they can energize me to do something wonderful they can also motivate me energize me to do something terrible and that's that's a problem and lo- i mean think about terrorism and things like that there's so much terror so much violence going around and a lot of these people who are indulging in such destructive violent acts sometimes we may say that they are heartless people well it's not literally heartless they have emotions they have feelings but their feelings have been channeled in a direction which which have become very destructive which is producing so much death and hurt and pain and suffering everywhere now unless our emotions and feelings are purified uh, they instead of being a power for good they can become a power for pain and suffering so yoga is what purifies it purifies our purpose purifies our reasoning purifies our emotions and the greater the purity that we acquire as a result of doing this the clearer the mind becomes and the clearer the mind becomes the stronger it gets <laughs>